So what is case-based research? So how do we define a case study? Well, a case study is an empirical inquiry that investigates a contemporary phenomenon within a real life context. It's where the boundaries between the phenomena and the context are not clearly evident. What case in inquiry typically copes with technically distinctive situations in which there may be many variables of interest. It relies on many data sources for evidence that you have to triangulate. It benefits from prior development of propositions that help guide your data collection and analysis. So a case study is a means of understanding a complex social phenomena that presents a contemporary issue within a specific context. Theory is enormously important. You need to have a thorough grasp of theory before any research questions or data collection can be developed. Your research questions and propositions are embedded in theory. Your PhD must make an original contribution, so you need to know what's been done before and identify gaps in knowledge. Theory development is part of the design stage of the case study. You design your study to fill knowledge gaps. What is the underpinning theoretical basis of the work? Are you seeking to develop or test theory through your work? Literature provides you with your theoretical framework and likely you'll also get your methodological frameworks from literature. Existing knowledge can be very poor. A lack of literature is usually due to new context, not novel theory. And it's easier to get a PhD by building on others' work than trying to establish a whole new field. I mean, if you establish a new field, where are you going to publish it? So really make sure you know what theory you're going to build on. Read extensively and think, right, there's a gap in theory and I'm going to, going to work in that space and then see if this approach is suitable for you. Before you can really know what your approach is, you nearly need to clearly define your research question. What is the substance? What is the study about? What is the form? Am I asking a, a who, what, why, where, how question? And they're very different. The nature of your question defines your research strategy. Choice amongst strategy exists. Academics are often skilled or favour specific research methods. And actually that limits the questions you can really address. You need to determine a significant question that will add new knowledge to an area because that's key for you getting a PhD. You've got to make that contribution. The literature is a means to identify the gap in knowledge that you're going to fill. You need to specify the nature of the research question and clarify exactly what you hope to find in order to fill this gap in knowledge. Literature reviews are often seen as a task to determine answers. You can use a, a systematic literature review, which is a form of archival study, to fill gaps in knowledge. But literature review should help you develop more insightful questions. I always expect people asking any interview question to be having specific theoretical underpinning for asking that question.